Hey there! Today we're going to be talking about this pen. This pen was sent to me by JL. Uh, she uh, she said she had one of these, she liked it, and I said, well, I don't think I can find them on eBay right now or something, and she said, well, I'll send you one. And she did. So thank you. Uh, it's an interesting pen, it's by Jin Hao. I've reviewed pens by that brand before. Uh, this is a Chinese pen. It has some interesting things going for it, and today we'll be talking about it. So I'm going to going to cover the past of the pen, tell what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and I'll do a writing sample. Let's start with the past of the pen. Very top of the pen, you'll see this interesting design. You see that design? Very interesting. Why is that interesting? It's interesting because it has a spring-loaded clip. And you see at the top of the cap there, it actually moves along with the spring-loaded clip, which I think is just nice. Overall, the pen has an interesting finish. See that? I like that finish. It looks cool. Um, it's a very slim pen, as you can see. The cap, it's slim. I don't really see any tapering except for the very end, right there at the end of the barrel. On top of the center band, it says Jin Hao. Jin Hao and 126, the model number. 126, um, the, the, the cap has uh, an interesting feature, which is that that finish, that sort of knurl that's in there, see that knurl? It's gone at that point, and that is for people who'd like to get this engraved, which I think is a very nice option that they did this, because this is a pen that you could give someone, I think. It looks, it looks pretty nice and decent. Okay, then at the other end, just a reflective bit. That's the end of the barrel. Let's uncap it. Uh, the pen posts, by the way, posts quite securely. As you can see, a very slim pen, um, and uh, not a huge pen, but I could definitely use this comfortably unposted. Nice section. Looks distinguished. Those little rings, and then you get one of these semi-hooded nibs that I've seen on a bunch of Chinese pens. Um, they're usually quite fine, but this one was on the wet side, and that's something JL also uh, told me, that it was uh, fairly wet. Um, here we have the converter that came with it. Nice. It's a slide-type converter, which means that you put your finger on that little knob there, and you push the whole piston in, and you push it out, so it's not something you twist. Uh, and I think that's, that's pretty much all I can say about the, uh, the, the ins and outs of the pen. As to writing, the pen writes well. I found it quite smooth, uh, and it's not its not really scratchy, and it's fairly wet, as I said, which is quite nice. I, there's quite some Chinese pens that I've used are on the dry side, uh, but this one was quite wet from the start, which is nice. What do I like about it? What do I don't like about it? Well, I like the looks. Um, usually these Chinese pens are not very expensive, but I do think this looks distinguished, nice, robustly made. It feels robustly made because it's all metal. Um, I, I could definitely gift this to someone and you know be be proud of, of what I give them so to speak so that's nice things I don't like about it well it's a very slim pen and that's not something for everyone um, I personally <coughs> sorry still have a bit of a cold I personally prefer the the, the somewhat bolder wider broader uh, pens um, but this is this is all very slim the section can be a bit slippery it is smooth metal, um, but you do get that nice little lip there, near the end. See that? The sort of ring. Um, I'm sure that keeps the uh, cap in place, but it also makes sure your fingers don't slip all over the nib. That's quite nice. Um, cartridge filled, converter filled, very simple, take international cartridges, comes with a converter, it's cool. Uh, posts well. One thing about posting, it has that white plastic inner cap I've, I've shown you before, and that will crack but it seems it's pretty highly up there, so up till that point there is no inner cap, so you can just post the pen safely. Um, then it gets quite top heavy, but I mean look at how much is sticking out from relatively large hands, um, so yeah, that's just the way it's going to be. In all, I think it's a very interesting pen. Uh, it came in this little black sleeve, uh, very simple, no box or anything, but just that sleeve. Good enough, you could definitely carry it around in that. Um, so very fascinating. Uh, I think we should take a couple of measurements. 
and then uh, I'll do a writing sample. So weight I get is about a good 30 grams, which is indeed not light for a pen. Capped, flat top, flat bottom should be relatively easy to measure. Um, and of course then it slips from my fingers. Uh, I come to about 141 millimeters capped. Uncapped, we're going to knock some off of that, I'm sure. Yep, I come to about 121 millimeters. Section diameter at the widest point near the barrel, I come to 9 millimeters, and all the way up right below that lip, um, it's a good 7 millimeters. That's pretty much all there's to it. And just in the middle, because I know that people like that, uh, I get to about 8. Makes sense. It's tapered. All right. So, Jinhao 126. I hope this was useful, and um, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Ooh, it's nice and shiny. Let's have a look at the Jinhao 126. It's fine, but it's pretty wet. The paper is Rhodia, and the ink is that Montblanc Balzac limited edition. Um, shall we do a bit of writing? This is a pretty smooth nib, I have to be honest. It's fine. But it doesn't feel as scratchy as I thought it would. I've used these Chinese nibs before, these particular semi-hooded nibs. Usually I'm not a huge fan, but this one is actually not bad. Does it give feedback? Absolutely. But it is not... it depends a little bit on how you hold it. It feels a bit scratchier under some angles. Well, anyway. How about a bit of fast writing? No real skipping, no skidding, looks good to me. How about wetness? As you can see, it's not excessively wet. Quite a bit of white patches in there. What about flex? I'm not expecting a whole lot, semi-hooded nib. No, you can squeeze out a bit, but it's it's quite marginal. Okay, one final thing we have to do is a reverse test. Writing upside down. And it doesn't do a whole lot. And that's all there's to it. So, I hope this was useful. Ooh, it's all shiny. And um, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.